What's going on everybody? Welcome back. So today's gonna to be part two on learning about the best areas in New Jersey. Last, well, this past Monday we did part one. Now we're going to part two. We're gonna talk about the next three counties and exactly explain what you're gonna find there. We're gonna talk about the things to do, the commute, schools, and overall lifestyle and what it feels like to live in those counties. So we're gonna jump into it right now. And I hope you liked the video. Make sure you didn't see last Monday's ones. Check that one out, you don't wanna miss it. And you're definitely gonna to love to learn everything about these counties in New Jersey. Okay, now, so now we're gonna go into Morris County, which is gonna be west from Hudson County to, for you guys to get kind of a little bit of reference. It's about a 45 minute to an hour drive. Um, this is gonna be the biggest county in this list. It's gonna be in the top 10 overall biggest counties in New Jersey. But right away from just looking at the map here, you're noticing that it's gonna have a lot more green space. The more west we go, the more rural it becomes. As you see clearly here on the map, this kind of area here is New Jersey. And we go into PA here, but it becomes super green, super um, with more nature. I'm gonna give you a little, little different view of it right as well right now. So you're seeing all this green space, and here's gonna what it's gonna be where the city's at. Here it's Hudson County, here's Bergen, a little bit of both. And then we go into Morris, Morris County. Overall, it's about 482 square feet, has 39 towns and cities, well, mostly towns here. And I wanna kind of show you, like I did with the other ones, the schools and kind of the best areas first before we actually jump into more information. So just seeing here is that the schools are also very good here. Um, obviously the top ones are all gonna be A pluses. But even once we go past the 10, the 10th mark here, schools are still in the A pluses, A minus, uh, a few Bs as well. There's a C minus here, but C plus, but C right away we go into A plus as well. So New Jersey in general is known for having these really good school districts, and it's one of the best ones in the country. And for you, kind of have to have, have a little bit of reference or where the schools are located and for you to kind of see exactly what I'm talking about. Throughout the throughout the county is a lot of good schools. The county is really, really big, so you're gonna have a lot more school opportunities here. Houses are definitely gonna be a lot bigger. You're gonna see in the one I'm showing you later, and they're definitely gonna be a lot more expensive. You have a lot of nice towns and school districts with a mixture of a nice community as well. So like you saw before, Number one was Mountain Lake, I believe, and then number two was Chatham. Mountain Lake, Chatham, number one, two schools, and it's also number one and two best towns to live in Morris County. Chatham is known for its upper scale living, it's known for those big homes, and it's very expensive as well. But kind of scrolling down a little bit to give you reference, it kind of continues more. You can see different towns. Um, I'm not gonna show you all of them, but you can see at least the first first list of niche definitely one of my favorite websites to check definitely check out especially if you're relocating somewhere that you don't know i'm just going to give you a good understanding of what you're getting yourself into pretty much but you can see here a little bit a lot of a's a pluses the whole town of the whole county of morris morris county it's very nice i love kind of going here because you're going to get a lot of the mixture of nature and the higher scale living um, let me show you a little bit about the real estate right now. All right, guys, before we continue with the video, just want to let you know I'm Luca, your relocation expert here in Union County and New Jersey in general. So if you're looking to make that move here, make sure to give us a call, text, or email the number coming up any second now. If you guys aren't ready yet, that's completely fine. We're dropping videos every Monday and Friday like this and a few different ones as well. So make sure you subscribe, hit that bell so you're notified every single time we upload a video because we love helping people relocate here and we'll love to help you guys help you out as well. Okay, so here you're going to have kind of an idea of what I'm talking about when it comes to like the upper scale living. Right away, you know, you have a few properties that are obviously in the lower end, but this is kind of a smaller property. But I kind of really wanted to show you are these kind of larger home and Chester Township. You're going to find a lot of this kind of estate here. Huge properties, um, very nicely located as well. A lot of new constructions like you can see here. But you're also going to find, you know, those more affordable homes, like this little ranch here. There's a lot of townhouses here, and it's going to have a big mixture. It's, it's such a big county, you're going to get a little bit of everything. But you are going to find those unique kind of properties here. Big Victorian homes, big colonial homes, um, a few tutors as well. But it's really interesting that every part of, 
um, New Jersey, you're going to get a little bit of different feel. But since it is an older state, you're still going to find those older properties throughout the whole state. Um, but yeah, let me just show you a few more so you can kind of get a reference of what exactly what I'm talking about. Um, scroll down a little bit here. Very uncommon to find million dollar townhouses and condos. More and more is done, you're definitely going to find it all over the place. Even coming down here, you're going to find these larger homes that you really don't find in other counties. Uh, but the more west you go, the more common it definitely is. And even though we're more west from New York City, we're still going to have a few train stations that can still get you in the city, other parts of New Jersey. And it's still nice, you know, it's not going to be like Bergen County, it's not going to be like Hudson County. But you're still going to get a few opportunities, especially here in Morristown, which is a very important town here, Morris County. That we're going to jump into a little bit later but it's still going to get you into the city you're still going to get the ability to commute and you're not going to be that far away obviously it's not going to be right next to the city it might be a little bit past an hour usually with the traffic but train wise it'll get you into the city direct line you know there is a there is one that stops i want to show you exactly kind of when it, where it's going to be during the peak hour which more than likely if you're coming from Morristown, you're probably gonna have to leave the house around seven, but it's gonna be about an hour, an hour and some change. And if you wanna drive, you can also drive. Very common highway here is gonna be the 80 and the 780, 280. Um, you're also gonna take the 78 Express, but the 280 is probably gonna be a more of a common one. You're gonna get you into the city and you're gonna see, it's gonna just take you here. You're gonna also go through Hoboken as well to get to the city, but what you are going to want when you're coming to Morris County, it's going to kind of be more of a family feel, a lot more suburban than Bergen and Hudson. Because if you're kind of looking for that quiet lifestyle, nice kind of recreational areas when it comes to park and reservations and hiking, things like that, and still have those nice school districts with big properties, Morris Town is going to be for you. If you're like kind of want more to be in the city life, kind of be still near the city, still have those luxuries that it's gonna only going to take you 20 minutes to get into the city. Hudson County might be for you. Obviously, price range is going to range a lot because for a million dollars, you can get a nice property here in Morris, Town, Morris County. But for a million dollars in Hoboken, you're not probably going to get much. And like I mentioned before, parks here, recreational areas are definitely going to be kind of a bigger highlight. There's a few here I wanted to show you. But the big difference is that they're going to be just a lot, a lot bigger, like Bergen County. And when you look at it, it seems to have a lot more parks, but they're kind of small. Here, you're going to get really that much more of that hiking life, canoeing life, even camping. You can find areas here. So it's that's going to be the biggest difference. But which one I wanted to show you a very large park here. It's called the Hocko Bernie um, State Park. Um, huge park. Let me kind of take you down there a little bit. And... It's nice that you're going to have these kind of areas that you can just go. And if you live in Morris County, you're going to definitely be just a few minutes away. There's kind of the state park here. Let me show you around a little bit. This where you come park. There's the trail you go in. Unfortunately, I can't show you here. But it's nice that you're going to have so many of these options. And, you know, during the spring, during the fall, during the summer mostly. These parks in those kind of areas in Bergen County get super congested. But since here you're a little further away, it's going to be a lot less people. And you're going to have a lot of green space possibilities. You see a family here kind of getting ready to go hiking. And I believe this trail you can also get into a camping site. But it's pretty nice that you just have the ability just to drive a few minutes away from the house. Go hiking, go camping with the family. And... Here in New Jersey, the more, like I said before, west, even south you go, the more ability you're going to have to do these kind of nicer things. It becomes very much suburban and even rural at times. And it just gets you away from the city. And that's why a lot of people are coming to these areas from the city to kind of get away from the busy life, the traffic, the hectic overall stress environment. And you can just kind of come back here, relax, and you know, enjoy nature for a little bit, and especially if you have a family or start or starting a family, you're gonna find the ability to have these nature areas and kind of a nice community 
on top of that as well. And zooming back out here where we were at before with the parks, we are also going to find here it's a bunch of different farms. I'm going to take you down one right now. Just one of the bigger ones here. It's nice that you're going to have a combination of all this kind of type of lifestyle because those those areas near the city is very rare to see this. You can come um, pumpkin picking during the fall. I mean during the spring and let me see until during the spring and it's just super nice for the family we got we went with we went didn't go to this one directly but last year with my wife we went to one it's just nice to kind of see the families there have a nice little stroll most of these have little shops so you can get apple cider you can get maybe even apple cider donuts and this usually this trailer here this truck tractor here will take you to different destinations you go around the farm and it's just having that different feel because a lot of New Yorkers, even a lot of New Jerseyans that never left their certain areas like Hoboken, Bergen County, um, Jersey City, never kind of experienced this throughout the year. Because even though they're only 45 minutes away, some people don't even come here. And it's just nice that you're getting the ability to still be in near the city and still getting this kind of lifestyle feel. Let's see. Let's go to another spot here in the farm so you can get a better understanding of what I'm talking about. Let's go down here, and this is what I mean. They have little shops here. I don't think maybe during the season here they were they were having anything, but they have little sales here. Let's see if you can go into this, and you're seeing that it's just very calm looking. They usually have farm animals as well. You can go pet them with the with the kids. Look, they have little kid activities here. They have horses. Well, these are kind of ponies, but you know what I'm talking about. It's just that kind of rural, rural, rural feel and still having towns that are very suburban, but never getting away too far from the city for all my city folks out there. Okay, so even though you're going to get that rural feel with the farms, the big parks, you're not going to lose much of the like mall sections because Morris, Morris County also has something called Rockaway. Times Square, which is going to be kind of a mall that they have here, a really big mall, super nice. And it's like you're getting a combination of having the ability to kind of get away from everything, but still having those must need amenities very nearby. I'm going to take you inside at it a little bit. I want to show you out here, but it's called Rockaway T Town Square. And it's like kind of a higher end mall. You're going to have little restaurants here as well. But let me take you inside so you can see how it kind of looks a little bit. Um, and it's not too far from where we were at before. Maybe a quick 20 minute drive. There's kind of a little store here. Let's see if we can find another spot for you guys. Well, there isn't really many spots inside we can see, but I'll probably have a video playing in the background so you can see how it looks inside. But here it is. It's kind of, it's not too big. It's not too small. But you're going to see it's, all of this area, you have a Macy, you have a Cheesecake Factory, you have a bunch of little things that you might need and around it you also have other um, shopping centers, you have the Starbucks, you have the Walmart here as well, the Sporting Good, Planet Fitness, so it's kind of a big plaza that it's must needed, especially for those people that need to go shopping, that need to buy their groceries, and it's right off the, um, the Highway 80, which I told you, like I mentioned before, is going to be a major part of Morris County. And that's going to kind of get you not only into this section, but it's going to get you into other counties, into other towns. And most important, it's going to get you into the city as well. But kind of zooming out a little bit. You're seeing that Morris County has a lot to offer. And it's obviously one of the biggest ones here in New Jersey. It's, it's ranked number seven overall. And... Even though you're getting all these things, you also get nice downtown areas. What I'm going to take you in there right now is, is the Morristown section here. It's one of the best downtown areas in this in this area. And you're going to see how nice it feels. That upper scale feel, but still has that nice younger feel overall. So Morristown, it's this highlighted red. It's not big, okay? And it's not a town that it's going to be for everyone, but it is that higher end type of feel. 
And what's more importantly, that you're also going to get a train station. So for all my commuters out there, they're definitely liking this perk in here. And they're going to get the nice downtown areas that I'm going to take you in right now. Has been a huge highlight and I'm going to kind of take you down the strip here. But kind of going around here, you're going to see that it's a very nice older feel. But you're going to get very nice restaurants. You're going to get a few grab and go, but it's mostly going to be sit down eating here. Um, you can kind of see a little bit how the structures are, how the real estate looks pretty much has that nice older feel historical feel because a lot of towns here are going to have that historical feel but then you get a mixture of the kind of newer styles as well so let's take you down a little bit so you can see what i'm talking about it's definitely nice definitely quiet it's not going to be like hoboken it's not going to be like jersey city but you're still going to get a nice relaxed vibes overall and the last county i'm going to show you today has a has one town that's very similar, not exactly like this, but you're gonna get a little bit of this similar feel. But kind of going down a little more, you kind of see that the town is very old school a little bit, but you're gonna get the newer style buildings coming up very recently. But it's nice to have the ability to have the parks, to have the big shopping centers, and also have a nice downtown area, and most importantly, super close to the train station because it's really around the corner and you're gonna get this like nicer amenities and nicer way of living so let me take you down a little bit kind of going off to the downtown area a little kind of take you into the residential area what you're also gonna find here is a lot of condos since if there is a lot of commuters coming here to definitely like that condo living but right away coming out of there you're always already seeing one family homes they're gonna be a little bigger than normal but that's going to be very common in this town and then down here you're already seeing more condos more new development and you're seeing that throughout the whole state of new jersey there's so many new condos so many new developments going up it seems that every day there's something new happening and it's been ridiculous but it's much needed because there's been a lot of people moving into new jersey and this is kind of what a lot of commuters a lot of younger generation have been liking is that condo living and that's kind of morris county for you a little bit kind of get you a sense of what i'm talking about how much it changes from the other previous counties we talked about now we're going to go a little bit more southeast in this section down here and this section is going to be called middlesex county it's going south from new york a little bit and it's the second largest one in this video it's going to be around 322 square feet and it's going to have around well it's going to have 25 towns exactly so you're seeing that it's a much smaller than the previous one but you're going to get a little bit more of that commuter friendly environment so you're seeing in the first half of middlesex is going to be more city like and going more south it turns into a more into kind of more of that rural feel you get more of the green space down here and you're kind of getting a mixture of both before we jump into the schools and all that i kind of want to show you more of kind of like how much more of a better commute it is between this county so one the main form of transportation when it comes to driving you're going to have the i-95 or the turnpike here that's going to get you into the city um and to even going more south if you need to you're also going to have the one and nine that we didn't talk about in the previous counties this is more going to be a non-toll highway the previous all the previous one we talked about are mostly all tolls uh, up to one point and the one and nine it will take you throughout mostly all of central and northern without tolls obviously it's a lot more lights some more, more things going on but the cool thing with this one is that you're going to have a lot of more kind of bigger stores you're going to have bigger plazas which i'm going to take you down later in the video and it kind of gets it's kind of a hub to get you into different um not only locations but also get you into different um shopping centers the garden state parkway as well here that's also going to get you into the city and a 287 as well that's going to get you into the west side or also into Staten island but overall you have those nice highways that are very important and you have a few trains as well so in total 
these are all the train stations you're going to have in Middlesex County. There's quite a few and some of them take you directly to New York City. Some of them don't. There's also a bunch of different bus stops throughout the county as well. And this so you can have reference where the train stations are located. Um, a very big train station is the one in New Brunswick. So I kind of want to show you the distances from here to the city. Um, it's not going to be too bad overall, but obviously you're not going to get what you're going to find in Hudson or Bergen. Those, Ber those counties are going to be literally the best possible commute. But you're obviously paying a lot higher prices. But even though being all the way south from New York City, well, not all the way south, but a lot more south, you're going to get there within an hour. You know, it's not terrible. And usually with the train, is going to be a lot faster than driving because here it tells you 55 minutes, but you should be expecting to be over an hour, especially during the commute rush. But if you take the train, you're going to get there um, from New Brunswick to Penn Station within an hour. It's not terrible, but you definitely have to see if it makes sense for you. Obviously, the more style you go, the better affordability things become. But you're still going to get the luxury of still having a train station throughout the counties and having a lot of other forms of transportation when it comes to driving because you're getting not only the turnpike, but you're also getting the Garden State Parkway as well. So let me kind of show you a little bit about the best school districts in the area. So number one is going to be South Brunswick School District. That's going to be almost all the way south, Edison, East Brunswick as well. In New Brunswick, which I'm going to show you later, has Rutgers University, which is a huge D1 college. And a lot of people from out of state and other countries even go there. So we're going to touch base that a little bit. Woodbridge has a lot of different subtowns within it. has Avenel, has Inslee, has Colonial. So Woodbridge is a huge, huge, important town in um, Middlesex County. And kind of going down, scrolling down a little bit, you're seeing kind of the rankings overall in the schools. It's not going to be as good as Bergen as we saw before or even Morris, but you're going to get other uh, amenities that might not be just school districts, but you're going to get easier commutes than Morris, Morris, Morris County and a lot better affordability overall. But you're getting kind of a range of different Bs, A minuses, C pluses, and overall you're getting a lot of different um, opinions. So going to now best areas to live in, you got you to gotta go from top to bottom, um, it's not going to be like Morris, Morris County, that number one school and number one best town to live was literally the same. Things change a little bit. Um, you definitely have to take make your own research depending on the towns because we unfortunately can't go into too much detail because the video will literally take a whole day to make. But you kind of get you an idea of what I'm talking about. Inslee is part of Woodbridge, like I mentioned before. Um, and Ford as well. So you're, you're seeing that Colonia as well. You're seeing that, you know, depending on the county, depending on the towns, things are changing a little bit. For overall, Middlesex County has a lot of good towns and schools and overall lifestyle for people moving there. And before we kind of jump into the real estate aspect of this, there's three, there's four towns here that have a direct line when it comes to buses to the city. That's going to be the Lennon, Great Denboy, East Brunswick, and Old Bridge. Those towns are going to get you very fast into the city, maybe within 45 minutes, more realistically an hour. But it's nice that even though you're south, there's a possibility that you can take the bus, you can take the train, and even drive there. And to show you a little bit about the real estate here, you're going to see kind of things change a lot, especially when it comes to the overall price range. It's very unlikely to see maybe seven, eight million dollar listings here. You're definitely going to see in the millions here and there, but it's nothing compared to Morris or even Hudson County. Um, properties here are a lot more affordable. You're still getting a nice size. There's still a few new constructions, but you're going to get that ability to be able to have still maybe a bigger home, acquire community, very suburban, and have the affordability factor as well. We're also going to find in Middlesex that maybe it's going to be a few 55 plus community as well. Um, it's going to have a few different ranges. You're also going to find more investment po possibility than Morristown. I mean, Morris County, and you're definitely going to find a lot of condos here as well. 
So you're seeing in Edison, they have a, a few different kind of style townhouses here. Sayreville as well, um, Monroe as well, Inslee. So it's very common here. Um, HOAs are going to rank between the 200s to the 300s. And it's all going to really depend on the association. But you're still going to get a lot of different one family homes, um, different uh, affordability. See, this 1.5. Monroe, yeah, this is probably the first 1.5 we see in the whole list, so it's not that common. A new construction Edison for 875 that maybe the same property in Chandler or Morristown might have been 1.3, 1.5, and you're only maybe a 30 minutes away. So you're getting that affordability factor. Obviously, you're not going to get the kind of class you're going to get in Morristown, but you're still going to get the better commute and you're still going to get good school districts as well. So right here, I kind of put a range of 400 to 600. I didn't do it in Morris County because those are very expensive properties. But either way, here you kind of get an idea of what kind of what that price range gets you. That that's usually the price range a lot of first time home buyers are buying into. Um, it's going to be a very big mix. You know, so since so many towns here around that's in 25 towns, it's really going to depend where you're trying to locate, locate yourself and what else you're looking for besides the affordability factor. But you have a lot of options. That's a good thing. And even though it's a really slow market, there's still a lot of properties being sold in New Jersey because there's so many New Yorkers, so many people from other states, mostly New York coming here, that it's still getting a mar the real estate market moving. And like the other counties, I wanted to show you um, a, few, a few parks. Uh, we're gonna start with one of the one of the bigger ones here, Roosevelt Park in Edison. This is gonna be a really nice park. You're still gonna be kind of near um, the Palazzo that I'm, I'm gonna show you right after, and have the ability to kind of be near everything. Have a nice little green area for quick jogs, quick little uh, family time, and still be able to kind of get in and out from maybe not have so much traffic to go all the way down south because you're still going to be near uh, the major highways here and you're going to still be near a lot of major um, shopping centers but let me take you down a little bit show you what i'm talking about here you have the roosevelt lake as well you can go through the bridge here you see a lot of families here usually this is definitely the summer um you can see that people can go hiking i don't believe you can fish here but it's definitely nice to come with the family and have some time um, the big reason i wanted to show you this park is that i'm going to zoom out now and show you a very important shopping center that this is what i was talking about when i spent that on the one and nine it's like kind of a hub for a lot of those shopping and retail names because that highway is literally going to take you down mostly all of Middlesex and get you into a lot of important things. So to zoom out here after seeing the park, before we show you the shopping center, that's actually a little bit further down. We have the Menlo Park Mall. Okay, this is a very important mall. It has a lot of the bigger retail name, it has an Apple store, has a Cheesecake Factory, has an also a dine and movie theater, AMC. And this is gonna be kind of one of two big malls here in Middlesex. The other one was is called the Woodbridge Mall that I'm showing you in a little bit. But here it's gonna have a lot of the bigger stuff. Okay, it's gonna have a lot of more shopping centers than Woodbridge because this is a lot bigger overall. Many people that are looking to go to the mall are probably gonna go to this when you're looking in Middlesex. Woodbridge is a little bit smaller. It does have kind of the Dick Sporting good that this one doesn't have. But here is definitely gonna have the bigger food court. It's gonna have a nicer overall environment. Night, bigger name stores as Zara. It has um, an H and M as well. It has a Nordstrom as well. So you're getting this whole mall, and right behind it is the dining movie theater, and you're getting the park right next door. You're getting the highway here, the one in nine. This one is going to take you all the way down to the next shopping center, which is going to be this one. It's called the Woodbridge. Um, it's called the Woodbridge Plaza. And here you're going to have like kind of the Best Buy. You're going to have a super good um, sushi spot right here. I absolutely love this spot. It has sushi. It has tamachi as well. 
So, and here they don't they're not they don't have it yet, but they're actually opening a huge UFC gym that it's gonna be the first of its kind in the area because there hasn't been one like that anywhere here and it's pretty surprising they're opening here but it's actually a really good spot so it's going to be right off the main highway we're kind of walking you a little bit around here the shopping center this kind of wraps around um to the back and you get other shopping centers i think also you have a gym back there you have a bank here um you're getting a little bit of everything uh this spot here they actually open a columbia spot down here which is not just a columbia and this spot you're gonna find it also in Elizabeth, a few different, a few spots of those. But here you kind of wrap around. You have a little bit more of the shopping centers here. Um, here's the gym. But this uh, the sushi spot I was talking about. Very small spot. A lot of people don't know about it. But if you're a sushi fan, definitely check it out. So, kind of to take you back out into the map. This is the highway that's very important here. It's going to connect you from many other counties into Middlesex County and literally take you kind of all the way down to New Brunswick, to South Brunswick, and even go all the way down to Trenton as well. So you're seeing that this is literally an artery and you're going to get a lot of those benefits from this highway. And we were just here and right across is the Woodbridge Mall here. It is a big big mall but it's on it doesn't have as much as the menlo it's a lot more parking you have the macy's as well here it's also a dick sporting good as well um right here but it's it's definitely a, a a nice mall if the other one's too crowded you come here you're not gonna get much of kind of the food court here but they do have uh they do have other options that the menlo park mall does not have so the cool thing is that you have two big malls in the county. You can pick between which one you want to go to. And before we kind of leave Middlesex, I wanted to show you a very important part of it, which is going to be Rutgers University. This is literally a huge, huge university. Pretty much half of New Brunswick is going to be kind of a college campus. Um, almost all of New Brunswick, because there's going to be a lot of campuses throughout the, the town. And it's literally kind of a college town. You, there's um, a lot of bars. You know, obviously the school by itself is a D1 college. Um, it has a bus that goes throughout all New Brunswick, which is completely free, but it's mostly for the students. And it's just that college feel. Um, I have a few buddies that went here and it's literally like another world when you step into it. You also have a train station right in the center pretty much. And I'm going to take you down so you kind of see a little bit of the town itself. But there's a lot of restaurants, a lot of um, places to go in general. And overall, everywhere you go, it's going to be Rutgers pretty much everywhere you see. Um, definitely, they support a lot of the school. They have a lot of students that come from different states, different countries. And there's a lot of kind of culture as well. Um, but if you don't like that, you should kind of stay away from this because it definitely is going to be a college type of environment. Um, you can see a few restaurants here. The closer you get to kind of the center, the more um, of a college feel it becomes. There's definitely a lot of new construction as well going around here. But it's going to be um, important for Middlesex because there's not a, there's there's another college and there's Princeton University here in New Jersey as well. And this is going to be kind of the second one coming up. But here's kind of the, one of the main areas here. If you already start seeing a few different restaurants, a uh, few different retail names, there's kind of like the center area um, of New Brunswick. It's kind of the downtown. And then you have kind of like the college area, which is called College Avenue. But here you're going to get a little bit of more of like the city feel of bigger buildings. Um, you have the a lot of the municipal municipal buildings as well but kind of walking you down a little bit you're seeing how much it already changes when it goes from those bigger buildings even down here a little bit okay so before we wrap up middlesex i still wanted to show you a few downtown areas because this is a pretty complete county um let's start out with metuchen downtown it's 
a nice area. It's kind of like by the north side of, um, it's actually more in the center of Middlesex, pushing a little bit more north, but it's definitely a nice feel. Let me take you down there right now. Has a bunch of different restaurants, a bunch of different little hub areas that you can definitely stop by and get some lunch. Like the other ones, it's definitely gonna have that little bit of the older feel. It's not gonna be like Morristown or, even, or not even close to Hoboken, but you're still gonna get that place that you can go with family, with friends, get a little lunch. Something you can call it downtown areas because a lot of places don't have this. And it's nice because if you live in the area of here, you can just kind of walk there. You see you have kind of um, little stores, you have drug stores, boutiques, and back where we were just at, there was a few restaurants as well. Um, it's nice, you know, and here you have the train and things like that. So mostly everywhere that there's a downtown, it's going to be with the train station. It's a very common theme here. Um, you're going to see it throughout New Jersey. Mostly all downtown areas have the train right next door. Um, but it's nice, you know, this is a much older feel than the other ones we've seen. You have also the city here as well. So, and then right now, going a little bit out to downtown Main Street area, now it becomes more suburban already. And this is what you're gonna see in mostly all towns that are a lot more suburban and that right off the downtown areas, you start getting the residential type of feels. This you have, a, you have the school here as well, um, elementary school. Uh, very very near everything and the other downtown area I wanted to show you was Woodbridge Woodbridge is one of the more largest cities more towns here There's gonna be a little bit different um, type of downtown feel than we we're just at you're gonna definitely get more like the, like kind of more of the commercial um, type of Environment you have like, the supermarket that most downtown areas don't have supermarkets all the way down there is the municipal building, a really big one. Because West, West Woodbridge is so big, it does have um, a lot of different um, areas the city has to take care of. But kind of taking you down here, you're seeing that it's a lot different than we were just at. It's touching, it's a wider roads. Um, there's definitely a lot more traffic that goes throughout here. It's more, it's still suburban, don't get me wrong, but it's not suburban as touching. Um, and this very north of Wood, uh, Middlesex County. This building right here that I'm going to show you was literally just built about a year and a, probably a year ago right next to the city. This is the municipal building here. One of the bigger ones in the counties. And it wraps around the same company built it here. Actually, one of my clients was actually the um, con one of the contractors for this building. So I was able to check it out definitely nice apartments they're all rentals luxury and like i mentioned before this is becoming a state of rentals you know a lot of condo buildings are being built and it's not stopping anytime soon the more people that come in the more um living areas people need and this is going to become common you know and we're seeing that everywhere near train station near public transportation you're gonna start seeing a bunch of bunch of these um, apartment buildings. Again, guys, if any of the counties we've talked about you are interested in, want to learn more about it, make sure to reach out again. You know, our number is gonna be coming up any second. We're the people here kind of helping a lot of people relocate, especially from New York City. So if you are coming from there, make sure to reach out. We know exactly what you need and how to help you guys move to a whole new state pretty much. Okay, that was Middlesex County for you. So we pretty much went from Morris County that was here, went from Hudson County that was here, and Bergen County that was here. There's a reason I left this section here without being spoken of until the end. And it's maybe I'm a little biased, but one of my favorite is Union County. I feel that Union, even though it's the second smallest county in New Jersey, is about 105 square feet, square miles. And, but it has 21 towns. Remember, Middlesex is double and maybe triple. No, it's actually double the size of Union County. And it's only 20 fun towns, 25 towns. Here is so much smaller. We're getting so much for even the area. So this area, the reason I left it last is because 
it has a mixture of a lot of those other county we've spoken of and it has the best thing about it, it has the easy commute to the city you're gonna see here that union county has so many different forms of train station every town is gonna have pretty much its own train station if it, if it doesn't have it you're gonna be minutes away from it um the furthest town out from um union county is going to be here which is going to be rawway and even though rawway is all the way south i don't know why they put these two here but this is middlesex but even though rawway is all the way south from union county you're only about a 45 minute commute during peak hour um, from from the city 38 minute commute this line goes directly to new york penn it's insane because even when you go a little bit more down to Middlesex and Woodbridge, it's going to take you maybe 10, 15 more minutes. But just be in one town into Union County, Rahway, you're going to get into the city extremely fast. But besides that, there's other forms of transportation when it comes to train systems here. And the furthest one west when you're going to be traveling to New York is going to be Summit. And Summit is technically going to be the most western town in Union County right before you get into Morris County. And let me give you a reference to see exactly how far away from New York City you're gonna be. So you're gonna be 51 minutes away. Um, and during peak hour, you're only gonna be about uh, 53 minutes away, 50 minutes. And that's nuts. So the furthest one south, you're gonna be 38 minutes. The further ones west, you're gonna be 53 minutes. And that's huge since you're only gonna be um, that that much you're only going to be a few minutes of a difference between both towns and in morris county you're already going to be passing an hour commute the nice thing about this summit area is that it is has the best school districts in union county coming right under two is going to be westfield and new providence but you're going to see that throughout the list it's going to be a lot of a's a pluses um and the big thing when it comes to Union County school districts, you're not going to beat Summit overall Union County. And it's going to have not only the best school district in Summit, but it's going to also have the best talent I'm going to show you in a little bit. But you're going to see that the more west you're going, the more you're pushing into that Morris County, the better the school districts. You're going to see the more in the city you're going to be in because a little bit is the city of Union County. School changes a lot. So you're definitely going to have to do your research when it comes to this overall county, but it's not big, but you're getting a lot of town. So it's definitely going to be a, a thing that you have to take into consideration what town you're going to be living into, and depending on what kind of school district you want. But besides that, going into the best towns to live in, uh, Bergen County, it's going to be Berkeley Heights is going to be number one. Fanwood is going to be number two. And then Summit comes in fourth place. This is all going to be very re relative because most of these towns there are going to be in the upper five westfield summit new providence fanwood and berkeley heights they're all super near each other and they all have that similar feel um, especially when it comes to the downtown area of summit and westfield that i'm showing you in this video you're going to see how that downtown area is going to be a little better than middlesex a little better than morristown morris county but, you know, nothing compared to Hoboken and Jersey City is definitely those unique things that New Jersey has. But going down the list, it has a lot of nice towns. Cranford, Mountainside, Carwood. Roosevelt Park is a super small town. It's about two miles, square miles going around. But it has a lot of unique things that other towns don't have. Um, so you can see a lot of these towns are ranked very well. You're going to keep noticing that the further west we're going in Union County, the better overall it becomes. So this area here, kind of past Route 22, it's gonna be kind of your major thing. And talking about the highways, Union County has all the major highways that you can think of, has the Garden State Parkway, has the, um, the Turnpike, has the 1 and 9 like we spoke before. Something that we didn't speak before is Route 22, which Route 22, it's a major, major highway, not just for Union County, but for a lot of different towns as well. Going down here, this highway goes for miles, and you're, it's gonna be like this the whole time. You're gonna have a lot of car dealerships, a lot of plazas, 
a lot of restaurants you're gonna have the super warmer as well you're gonna have target and this section is kind of going a little more to the south side you might say and the further we go north now you're gonna pass this little section here you're gonna find the walmart a huge tesla there's also tesla stations there um, little plazas here you have a chipotle um it's just nice that you're gonna have these kind of amenities very nearby because from mostly anywhere in union county you're gonna get um you're gonna get maybe a 10 max 20 minute drive to get into a 22 and then you're gonna have all these bigger bigger stores and, and, and retail names and something you've been noticing when i'm being diving here in the map view in the street view the weather here changes a lot the majority of the year especially during the, the, the winter it's going to be cloudy like this you're not going to have much sunlight especially during the winter days and it's something you have to be expecting because if you're coming maybe from a state like florida you cannot expect to be like that all the time but look you have here when you start getting these bigger retail names you have the home depot here you have the walmart coming up in a little bit as well um, in my other videos i talk a lot about this shooting range is one of the best ones in the area very professional uh, not, not, the, not the shooting range it's actually a dispensary uh, the shooting range is a little bit more down here but this dispensary here and there's a lot of dispensaries throughout new jersey because it is a legal state so you're not gonna shy short from that but rtsp we saw a little billboard here is the shooting range that's going to be coming up in a little bit but here's the super walmart you got a tj tj max as well you have a pet coat pet smart as well i'm thinking into the plaza here and you're gonna pretty much all route 22 is going to be a lot of what i just showed you a lot of these plazas you have a lot of different um restaurants it's pretty cool la fitness and it's pretty cool to have those essential needs very nearby anywhere in Union County. But besides that, you can see highlighted this is all like kind of the major transportations going west. You have the 78, then you have the Garden State Parkway, you have the 1 and 9, you have the um, Turnpike as well. And Turnpike, I-78, Garden State Parkway are all going to get you into New York City with tolls. And all you can take the 1 and 9 will also get you to New York City with no tolls. But... A lot more traffic and like Middlesex you're gonna get a kind of a combination of a lot of different kind of properties here depending on what town or city you're living in um, the closer to the Elizabeth area the more of this kind of style homes are gonna be a little bit older more outdated and they're renovated you can also find a lot of renovated homes in those areas and the closer you get to kind of the west area is gonna be like this New Providence bigger home obviously a lot more expensive but the big thing when you're in county is that you're going to find a lot of multifamily homes, a lot of investment opportunities, especially in the Elizabeth and Linden area. A lot of these newer construction style homes. This is very common here. These are two families. And if you go to towns like Cranford, you might not find those investment properties, but you're going to find a lot of nicer communities. And usually the homes are either flipped, which means that they're renovated or they're super nicely taken care of. There's a town of Elizabeth. It's one of a, a bigger home for one family, 785. Or you can see like here in Elizabeth as well is a two family for 770. So, you know, prices are going to vary varied a lot in Union County, depending on what town or city you're going to be living in. But it's interesting to see that you're still going to get kind of these newer construction homes everywhere you go. There's Scotch Plain, a very nice um, town in Union County. Um, it's kind of going southwest a little bit and you're seeing that there's so many different styles and you still are going to have condos as well to the summit of super nice town and what super nice towns and good school districts you're going to find these bigger price ranges as well but let me give you kind of reference on what kind of price range buys you what so let's put the 450 so you can make it simple and the let's put the 550 range here so we can see what buys you what so think about it summit is the best town and you're still gonna probably get those affordable prices and be in a nice town or you might kind of want to go to uh, a still a nice town like springfield and clark and maybe pay a little bit less maybe get more renovated just know since union it's very close to the city 
It's very close to Essex, Hudson County. It's going to have a lot of bidding wars. And what we've been noticing is that since a lot of people haven't been able to maybe get into Hudson County because there's so much competition, they've been coming to Union County and getting those bigger houses and still have the easy commute to the city because Union County is pretty much made for those commuters to go to the city and have a lot of different form of transportations. But you're seeing the price ranges vary a lot. You get a lot of options. So you're definitely not gonna not find anything if you wanna come here. Market's slow, but it's still moving throughout the state of New Jersey, especially the closer we get into the city. And even though it's not a big county, it definitely doesn't shy and parks there's a lot of parks here throughout the towns there's a lot of opportunity for families to take some time and kind of relax there's the new Mohian park in Cranford a super nice park there's the Warren Angle park here in Elizabeth Roselle section very nice big park as well and you're gonna get a lot of activities here they have to play basketball they have to have you can also have a little thing you can go with the kind of a canoe setup you can come here um, they've been upgrading the park a lot as well and then going south a little bit you have the Rahway park down here that crosses through the Rahway river which that river goes all throughout Cranford and other towns as well nice big park with a pool but what i wanted to dive you guys into was to watch on reservation there's a huge reservation for hiking um, activities you can go also biking, you can go uh, fishing as well. And even though Union County, it's only about 105 square miles, you're gonna get a lot of opportunity. So here you get a quick glimpse of how, kind of like the fall time and the, tra the, the hiking trail here. Um, it's very nice. You know, I usually go every year with my wife and our two dogs to go hiking there and kind of you know kind of get away from the city life because you know union county is a little bit of a city of life depending on what part, section you're in but you're still going to get kind of the little bit of the green area if you needed kind of get away from everything and have that rural mixture with the suburban and if you're in elizabeth you're definitely going to get that city feel so you're noticing that the more west we go the more of that morristown feel you're going to get because right next to the, the Watch on Reservation, you have Summit, you have New Providence and Berkeley Heights. One of the best cities, one of the best towns here in Union County. And right here, you have Westview, which also is ranked very highly as well. So right now, before we end the video, I'm going to take you down in the downtown areas. This is very important for Union County because it has a bunch of different style of downtown. So first of all, let's start with Elizabeth, New Jersey, which is the city of Union County. This downtown area is very different because it has a few different ones. So let's first start with Elizabeth, the Morris Ave section. This is kind of going to be a, a section that it's going to have. Um, it's going to be a section with a lot of different culture. OK, Elizabeth, you're going to notice and have a lot of the different Hispanic culture. A lot of different foods and here is called the morris avenue this one also connects you to union township and you're seeing that it's kind of a different downtown area it definitely becomes a lot more city like on compared to like morris and even middlesex county and you're seeing that is a lot more traffic a lot more things going on for the first time in this video we're seeing kind of a nightlife situation here um, and the town has been, though the city has been upgra being upgraded a lot, especially in the past few years. Um, they've actually opened up a new spot that is not even in the video here, but it's called Mixology here. And there's another kind of nightlife. Um, you have a lot of Colombian food, a lot of Colombian culture. And then right across the street, you have one of two train stations in Elizabeth. There's the Elizabeth train station. And then going to North Elizabeth at the North Elizabeth train station. This is just one part of the Elizabeth downtown because right now after here, I'm going to take you to the true downtown area and that's going to be kind of the Elizabeth Ave section of Elizabeth. This section here is called Elizabeth Ave. This is a true, true downtown area of Elizabeth. Um, There's going to be the, the avenue that connects here from Broad Street 
which Broad Street is called, it's kind of the midtown of Elizabeth. There's a municipal building. There's the library. Also, uh, the courtroom is back here. And from here, all the way down is going to be just retail names, boutiques, little plazas, restaurants, a little bit of everything. You have a bunch of bus stops throughout the whole um, avenue here. A bunch of different culture is a little, there's a little plaza here. Um, to my right here, it's going to be one of the five or six high schools. And then to my left here is one high school. And right next to it, there's another one that was built recently. This is going to be kind of the, in quotation marks, the best academy for high school kids. Because each high school is going to have its own kind of purpose. So this is going to be Jefferson High School is going to be the School of Arts. Um, there's an ROTC program school down there. But the avenue continues all the way down. There's a bunch of different things. It's very unique because we haven't shown you something this because even Hoboken is not this big. Obviously, it's a lot nicer depending on what you're looking for. But it's not as big as what we've been seeing in the past uh, few, few counties. But I'm going to kind of take you all the way down because it's very important this part of Elizabeth because you're going to find the majority of the retail of the stores, mom and pop shops, and it continues. It's very far. It's definitely a city because Elizabeth is the largest city in Union County. There's another city called Linden, but it's very different to this. But you're, sitting, you're even seeing that there's being new buildings built as well. There's new developments all over Elizabeth. And it's one of the few that has a lot of the newer construction homes. Many, many condos are being built. And this continues all the way down. Once we get to down here, you kind of see it from here. It's going to be the port of Elizabeth. And those changes a lot. And Elizabeth has so many different neighborhoods that we have a video I'm going to link up here. And it kind of tells you the different neighborhoods, kind of explains a little bit about what Elizabeth has to offer. But you're seeing that it has many different downtown areas. And this is Elizabeth for you. We're kind of, we were just in um, the downtown Elizabeth Avenue area. I'm going to show you another town. It's going to be Summit downtown. But before, I want to show you how close it is to the Newark um, airport. It's literally a five minute drive depending on what kind of section you are. If you're in the North Elizabeth section, you're a five to ten minute drive. Super close, super convenient, and that's something else a lot of people like. You're not only going to get two train stations that go to the city, you're not only going to get multiple buses, you're not only going to get the highway systems, but you're also going to be very close to the, the airport if you need to be there. And you're going to be super close to the Linden Airport as well. But this is going to be what's really important and people love. But besides that, let me take you down to the summit downtown area. You're going to see how much things change drastically here from Elizabeth. And it's only maybe a 15 minute drive away. But this is going to be a lot more of a higher scale living. It's going to be very similar to kind of Morristown feel. But in Union County, you're going to get these kind of older but very high end restaurants. Um, you're going to find a few grab and go things as well because you, you do have the train station very nearby. And that's this train station that's going to get you directly into New York City. So a lot of people that are going commuting, they want to get a quick bite. They will grab something very fast and go. But overall, there's a lot of sit-down restaurants as well. It's a lot of jewelry stores, a lot of smaller boutiques. And you're going to get those bigger retail names as well. You have Lululemon. You got um, other um, stores that are higher end as well. But it's just that kind of feel that is very uncommon to find because even throughout the whole video, you haven't, we haven't seen something similar like this. This diner here is a staple. It's been around, I think since 1940s, I think. Don't, don't, don't take my word on that, but it's definitely around those years. But you're going to see you have pizza here, grab and go. And then you're going to have just a nice community feel. The biggest thing with this that people love is that those the the people that live around this downtown area, some of them don't even have cars and they just come here and go. Here's the train station, very convenient, very nice, very clean, everything super nice. Um, they have a Starbucks right in front. And there is kind of one supermarket in a sense. It's kind of a butcher shop, 
but it does have uh, things that you might need but there is no big supermarkets here or in summit in general there is um one kind of higher end supermarket but if you want to kind of go to um buy groceries you might need to go to short hills um they, they have a they have a nice supermarket over there but overall this is kind of the downtown area very nice and the community is kind of like this throughout the whole town of summit i'm gonna walk you around here a little bit so you have another feel of it but it's very very different than what we've been seeing and going a little bit more south east is going to be westfield this is going to be our last stop for the video and this downtown area is a little similar to summit but not as higher end but it's definitely a super nice downtown it's actually award winning so you're going to get a lot of things that you're not going to get in other areas. And most importantly, you're going to get those bigger retail names as well. But look how much, how beautiful the architecture is here. You have all these different colors um, coming down here. A lot of the restaurants here are based on a lot of different things. Like the Adam Tavern is based on the Adams family. There's a lot of spooky things around Westview as well. For example, the show You was based on... A, there's a lot of spooky things going around here. Like the show The Watcher was based on Westfield. And if you ever seen that show, you've seen that big, big house. That's a lot of the houses here in Westfield. Very big, traditional Victorian, very big homes. But a little bit more about the downtown area. You're going to find kind of this kind of style all around. And it's just... A lot luxury living you're not gonna really find a nightlife like Elizabeth but it's definitely something that you might want to go for a quick cocktail maybe a, a say a little bit late at night but you know nothing nothing more than one in the morning probably stays up here only a few areas but see how nice it is it's not gonna be like um, summit but it's kind of a mixture of summit and a smaller town feel um, Westview also has a train station right here that will get you direct will get you into New York City, not directly, but into New York City. But it's very convenient for um, a lot of people. But you know, overall, we kind of touched base on a few topics. We went into Union County, which is kind of in the center. Then we went to Bergen County up here. We had Essex County, Morris County, and Middlesex County. Everything had a little bit of a unique feel but it all hits those things that a lot of people need which is that cremu you're gonna get the nicer living depending on the towns you're gonna be into you're gonna get the good school districts and overall you're gonna get a very nice lifestyle that most people need because if you're only looking for one thing or the other thing it's not gonna have the overall balance and especially you're moving from another state you're gonna need those things and i know it was a long video it was a lot of digest and there's so much more that I didn't touch base on. But if you're looking to relocate here, remember to give us a call, reach out. We'll get on a Zoom call. I'll do exactly what I did in this video, but just specifically for you. And we'll see exactly what you need to look into because you're realizing that it's a lot to take in, especially when you're going from another state and you have no idea what you're doing. So if you're looking to move, move into New Jersey, make sure to give us a call. We'll get on a quick Zoom call. We'll literally look over everything you need to know and make sure to... Give us a call. So our number is going to be coming up any second now, and I'd love to help you guys out.